Hi everyone, um, I've put together a quick video just to show you how to renew your BizFed 2019 Federation membership and also how to uh, renew athlete licenses um, and pay for, pay for each. So first thing you need to do is log in and make sure we go into our Federation account. Now this example I'm going to use ANDE, so if we click on ANDE here you'll see that I land and I'm in the athletes page with everybody showing in a renewed state for their athlete licenses that you'll now be paying 10 pounds per person per year for. The first thing that you need to do, however, is to renew your membership. So if you click on membership here on the left hand side, click on the renew button and then work through the membership form. So it should be relatively quick for you guys because all of you have been members previously. So all of your information will be saved but what I do need you to do is check that it's all accurate, all of the information is included, and if there's anything missing, you'll just need to provide it on this form for us. So we go through the form, make sure the correct people have access, go through the form here. The event information is new, so this information will need to be input. So you're gonna put your colors in there um, for your first, second, and third choice kits, any copies of flags that you may have, both horizontal and vertical, just upload the files. Again, as you work through this form, all of the questions that are mandatory will be marked with a red asterisk, um, like this primary kit question here at the top. So as we go through this form here, just check the telephone numbers, WhatsApp numbers are all accurate. Keep going through. This is a new section, so this is all to do with anti-doping. So you'll need to read and agree to the new uh, policies and rules. You can do that just by checking this box. Check that the address is accurate for both the postal and invoice address. Check that all your comms um, and social media settings are updated. And again, these numbers were all filled in last year, but if they've changed or there's any more numbers, anything's increased, decreased, do be sure to, to make those edits. And again, the national championships, if you can update the date so that we know when your national championships are in 2019, if you don't know that date, you can simply just delete that date and leave it blank and then click next. Um, just make sure you tell us if there is going to be a national championships in your country uh, in 2019. And then you'll click add. And what will happen when you click add is you'll get a message here across the top that your uh, membership has gone into a pending approval state. So just to make sure you've filled in everything correctly, BizFed will take a look at your membership form. Make sure you've filled in all the questions correctly. And if anything's missing, they'll contact you to get that information so it can be added. Um, but if it's okay, what they'll do is they'll approve it. And when once it's been approved, it will then appear in your basket. So you'll see that there's nothing in your basket at the moment. What we suggest that you do in the meantime is go back to the athletes tab here and work through the athletes that are going to need a license um, in 2019. Now nobody will be able to participate in any of the BizFed events without an athlete license. So what we suggest that you do is to ensure that you're not purchasing these licenses on an ad hoc basis throughout the year is that we suggest that anyone who you think may need a license in 2019 purchase it now. Um, to do that, you just simply click on the Renew button, work through the forms here, make sure all of the information is correct. So you can update profile pictures, you can update all of the information at this point. You can go through, provide email addresses, phone numbers if you have them, any social media information, any additional uh, medical information, and then the certification page here to say that they agree to the terms and conditions in the BizFed eligibility agreement. Uh, you can click on that link and that will download a copy. And then what we suggest that you do is you add them to your basket. Don't click add and check out just yet. What we suggest is that you add them on a one by one basis to the basket and you'll see that one item's here in the basket. Work your way through all of the athletes um, that are gonna need a license and keep adding them to the basket. What that will do is it will continue to build the, the number in this basket here. So if we'll add one more, we'll add three. If we click on the basket now, we'll see that there's three athlete licenses in that basket. Don't check out just yet. What we suggest you do is you wait until BizFed have confirmed that everything is okay with your membership application form. What will then happen 
is that the three items here will be joined by the fourth item, which will be the BizFed Federation membership for 2019. So what we can now see is that BizFed have um, approved our membership. So in our basket now, where there were three items before, there's now four. If we click on that here, we'll see that we've got the three athlete licenses that we put in previously, but it's also been joined by this item here for our BizFed membership. Now, once we've got this, we can then hit the checkout and we can download a full invoice for the 880 pounds and we'll be able to make that one bank transfer. We download our invoice and all of the information will be on that invoice for you to make the necessary bank transfer through to BizFed. Now one thing that's very important with this is that you include this invoice number as a reference number on the bank transfer. That will help us identify the payment and we'll make sure that once we receive that money we can mark your Federation membership as paid.